Today I'm going to show you how to use this and nano VNA to measure an unknown length of coax. This is Hyperflex 13 from Messi and Poloni. I've got some end connectors here on each end. I'm going to leave one end open and I'm going to measure what the length of this is because I don't know what it is. And you can turns out you can use the nano VNA to measure that quite accurately. So before we do our measurements, there's just a couple of things that we need to know about. And one of those is velocity factor. So in a coaxial cable, there is different velocity factors. That is the speed at which the signal can transfer through the cable or go through the cable. So these vary. So RG58 is generally around about 66%. RG213 is about 66%. RG8X is about 82%. LMR400 about 85% and in this case the Messi and Poloni Hyperflex 13 that I'm going to be using is around about 86%. Now these percentages are all referenced as to the speed of light through a cable. Cable, it, As the RF goes through the cable it actually gets slowed down and this is the percentages that it gets slowed down by. So um, that's a simplistic way of explaining it but if you want to know about what velocity factor the cable is that you're testing just do a google search and you can find that all online so we need to find we need to know this before we move on to our nano vna it's an important step by default here i've got all my traces enabled we don't really need that or want that for this measurement so what we're going to do is we're going to tap the screen and go up to uh, display here at the top and we're gonna to go to trace. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off every single trace except for trace zero. So we just wanna tap twice on trace three, two, one to disable them and just leave trace zero turned on. Now we need to turn on, go to channel and make sure that our channel is set to S11 uh, reflected. So S11 being our port here, port one, channel zero port on the bottom of the Nano VNA. This will be the same on the SMA versions, uh, SMA connector versions of the Nano VNA. You can either select S21 or S11. So we'll just select S11 reflected. Then we wanna to go to format S11 and go to more and then select linear. Then go back to transform here. So we wanna tap on that and we wanna tap on low pass impulse. So turn that uh, on, turn the transform function on, and this is where we set our velocity factor. So we're currently set at 70%. So we wanna set this to the cable that we're testing. So Hyperflex 13, we select 86%. Once we've done that, we can go back to stimulus, and we wanna set a start frequency. So the nano VNA goes down to, this one goes down to 50 kilohertz, so that's as low as we can go. Ideally we'd go down to DC, but we can't, so we'll go down as low as we can go, 50 kilohertz. That's gonna set our start here sweep on the left uh, as basically zero meters. And then we set our stop frequency. So usually this requires a little bit of guesswork. If you start at around about 200 megs, and that's giving us a, a distance of about 12.59 meters. So you can see our distance up here in the top right hand corner. And you can move the marker along and see this change as, you, as that moves along. So you sort of do need a rough estimate of how long your cable is going to be. If we go down to say 50 megahertz, you can see that that moves it all the way out to 58 meters but we get less resolution because we've only got so many points that we can measure here. So what is probably best is just start around about where you think the length of the cable is. I don't think this cable is any longer than 10 meters, so I'm gonna say uh, 200 megs. And then I'm gonna plug in my end connector into that channel zero S11 port there, and you should see a spike, which we do, and if we then go to our marker and go search maximum, uh, just toggle that on and off, that will then move our marker here to the top, which gives us our marker location here, 7.429 meters. So that's our, our uh, length of cable. 
There we go, I just set this to 300 and we've now got a little bit better resolution, 7.387 meters. So around about 7.4 meters is the length of our cable. One of the videos that I did do was I built a dipole stack and I wanted to electrically down tilt the dipole. So I made this little delay line that I needed to measure the phase difference of when it was inserted into the line. And I actually used the Nano VNA to confirm my measurements. So if you wanna find out more about that and using the Nano VNA even further, then there's a video over here that you might wanna check out.